What's going on, YouTube? Mr. AGZ here, bringing you a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This time it's up against Alpha. Alpha's running in with Togekiss, uh, Serene Grace, blah. And he's got the Venusaur, he's got the Mammal Swine, he's got the, um, Milotic, he's also got the Charizard and Ambipom. Now I'm running in with my Aegislash, my Terrakion, my Talonflame, my Hexorus, my Malamar, and I'm trying a new Pokemon, Alakazam. So I'm really worried here because of that Togekiss. Everybody that plays me knows I'm not a big fan of Serene Grace Pokemon because they absolutely own, but... You know what? It's my job to overcome, and that's exactly what I'm going to try to do here. So, here we go, getting into this battle here with Alpha. Alpha looking awesome in that black-yellow suit. And, yeah, it's going to send out Gherkin, the Ambipom. Now, seeing Ambipom come out first, you know immediately what's probably going to happen. He's probably going to run Fake Out, which is why I sent out Aegislash first, because he's not going to be able to do that to me because I'm a Ghost-type. He's going to withdraw Gherkin and send out Golden. Golden is his uh, Mammal Swine. Now, since he did that, I figured I would just go ahead and go straight for the attack. Might as well, right? So, chaining to my blade form, gonna run my flash cannon, predicting his switch out. Flash cannon's gonna do a massive damage amount to Golden, but he's hanging on with his focus sash. So, Mammoth Swine's barely alive. I'm gonna go ahead and stance change right back to my um, shield form and get my king shield off. Now, I feel kinda stupid for that because he's gonna run Earthquake, which is fine. Um, I feel kind of stupid because I was like, man, I should have just taken him out. I'm faster. But, you know, you never know. So we're going to go ahead and get this Shadow Snake off. Shadow Snake's going to do just enough to take out Golden. Obviously, 1 HP would not with the Focus Sash. And down he goes. So, yeah. Next comes out Drayden. Drayden is his Charizard. Oh, my goodness. Immediately, I'm thinking, warning, red alerts, red alerts, Drayden, fire, dragon, flying, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to my Talonflame, who's going to be able to take a fire attack if he dishes one out to my Talonflame. So, he's going to go ahead and Mega Evolve right now. There it is, Mega Charizard Y. And not only that, it's shiny and pretty, or actually it's black, but still, which is also pretty. Alright, so anyways, here comes that Fire Blast. I avoid the attack, which is amazing. He's going to withdraw Drayden immediately, because he knows he's not going to want to take a physical attack from my Talonflame. I kind of predicted this. He's going to go ahead and go into his Milo Tick. I'm going to go ahead and Brave Bird this, because you know what, I, I just Brave Bird everything. When you have Talonflame, Brave Bird everything. And as you can see here, his Milotic is actually really physically bulky. I'm going to do a decent amount of damage, but not enough to take him over the 50% mark. And plus, he's got lefties, which means I'm going to Brave Bird again and probably die. Yeah, that's kind of just the way it is. So here we go, lefties is going to hit him. Do a lot of damage, but not enough. I'm hoping, I'm hoping with that Sunlight out that I survive a Scald. Because water damage is halved. However, 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 even though it's super effective, I do survive. However, he's got that lefties still. So now I've got to decide, do I want to sack my um, guy? Or do I want to just Bray Bird? I'm going to go ahead and just Bray Bird. Because you know what? Since it's, um, since it's dependent on how much HP your opponent has, I should still survive this. Just barely. And I do. It does like 6 damage to me, which means he had about 6-12... 6, 12, 24 HP left. So out comes Gherkin. We know he's got the fake out. I'm going to go ahead and switch back out because I don't want the fake out to hit me. I want to save my Talonflame because he's amazing. Send out my Aegis Slash. Here comes a Shadow Claw predicting my switch out. So it's super effective, but here's the awesome thing. I've got weak Knight or weak Aegis Slash, which means um, he's going to activate my weakness policy. My attack's going to go way through the roof. He's losing HP, which means he's life or. So now we know the Gherkin's attack stuff. He's going to go ahead and switch out. And here comes Drayden again. Drayden, of course, once again, is his Charizard. I'm trying to take advantage of that. He, here comes the Drought. We actually did not predict this. Sunlight's going to turn harsh. We stance change. And we're going to go ahead and run an attack. Just to see how much damage it does. Why not, right? Here comes my Sacred Sword. It's going to actually be resisted because uh, he's a Flying type. However, it does over half damage. And with that being the case, I'm like, well, shoot, might as well just go for it again. Now, Vile Pin, I'm going to say Vine Pin 15 comes in next. Now, Vine Pin 15 is absolutely um, <laughs> a surprise here. I'm going to go ahead and run King Show. It's going to fail. I'm going to go ahead and switch out my Aegis Slash. I knew what was coming. I knew what was coming. Send out my Haxorus, or so I thought. Here comes my Shiny Haxorus, looking amazing with his Mole Breaker. Here comes Sleep Powder, which is awesome because I'm not affected because my Haxorus happens to carry, that's right, the Safety Goggles, which isn't used often and enough. 
I suggest y'all use it. So here comes the Toe Kiss, which I'm not looking forward to because Toe Kiss is absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, he, my attack's gonna rage because I ran Dragon Dance. We're gonna go ahead and run Shadow Claw on this Toe Kiss just to see how much damage we can get off because my Dragon Attack obviously is not gonna work against him. Here comes the T Wave, which is gonna paralyze me. It's just as effective as Body Slam, except Body Slam obviously does damage. Sunlight's gonna fade. So I'm going to be slower, and we know what's about to happen. Air Slash. Air Slash is going to be have a 60% chance to make me flinch. And there's a flinch, so we know what's coming again. Another Air Slash. And, yeah, my hacks are done and out. Oh, man. Just, just, oh, jeez. <laughs> so I'm going to send out my Age Slash next. Age Slash ready to do some work, I hope. Um, <laughs> here comes a T-Wave on my Age Slash, which I'm okay with, because, you know what, I'm as slow as dirt anyway, so I'm cool with that. I'm paralyzed. I'm going to go ahead and get my stance changed, and I am going to go ahead and get an attack off here, use my flash can, which he is weak to, and that's going to be a dead Togekiss. Togekiss goes down and out. I don't have to worry about that darn flinching anymore, or T-Wave. So thank you, Togekiss. Goodbye. Drayden's going to come back out. That Charizard. Why have I not gotten rid of this Charizard yet, you know? <laughs> here comes that Drought. Now, I'm not weak. I'm not a weak age slash anymore, which means I'm not going to do as much damage. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the Shadow Snake, get the stab attack, and it nearly, nearly takes out Drain, but not quite enough. Here comes that Earthquake. That's going to be more than enough to take out my age slash, which is very unfortunate for me. But you know what? It, it is what it is. He did, he did his job. Next comes out Talonflame. My Talonflame is going to just sack himself, get the Brave Bird, and now with Charizard's HP being what it is, I'm actually going to survive this Brave Bird. See, watch, because it does, uh, what is it, one-fourth of the damage I do to the opponent, so I survive it. So he had, like, 28 HP also, or 24 HP. Out comes Gherkin again, the Ambipalm. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. <laughs> switch out, actually, to my Malamar. Malamar being a, um, being Malamar, you know, I'll be able to take this out. Here comes a Fake Out, since I can't switch to my Age of Slash anymore. Oh my goodness, it does way too much damage. Um, here comes a double hit. Double hit's gonna absolutely wreck my Malamar and take me out. So Malamar basically just came in to die, but you know what? That's okay. He he did his job. He he basically got rid of that fake out. Plus Gherkin's damaging himself. So I'm gonna send out Terrakion next. Terrakion, that big old dog, if you will. Um, we're gonna go ahead and watch him use U-turn. U-turn is actually gonna hurt me just a little bit. Not not a lot, but just enough. He's gonna take some life orb damage again. And go back to Alpha. Alpha's gonna go ahead and bring out his um, Vine Pin 15, which is his Venusaur again. Venusaur comes back out. Now the thing I'm worried about the most is is for for um, Alpha to go ahead and be using Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder is not what I want to want to take because yeah, it's it's lame. <laughs> Sunlight's gonna fade now, and he's gonna go ahead and get a little bit of lefties from his uh, Black Sludge. I say Lexi's recovery. I'm, I happen to have Excizor. is gonna do just a little bit of damage. Here comes Sleep Powder. Now if he was full Grass type, that'd be amazing, but he's Grass Poison. Now my Terrakion's asleep, so I'm like, great. Please tell me I can do some damage here. His um, Vine Pen 15 is gonna go ahead and get some recovery. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out now because I figured if I can switch now, he's not gonna run a Sleep Powder two times in a row. He's gonna use Growth. Growth? Venusaur. Wow. Growth Venusaur is going to go ahead and allow his attack to raise and special attack to raise. So he's going immediately for some buffs here. Black Sludge is going to help him. I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve to Mega Alakazam. Boom. Just like that. Mega Alakazam with my spoons. I'm going to be eating this toss salad here. And, um, <laughs> um, yeah. Enjoy it. Here comes Trace, which is going to trace Chlorophyll, which is awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and run Psyshock. Now, Psyshock is an awesome move. It uses your special attack and makes it a physical um, uses your special attack stat and makes it a physical psychic attack. Enough to take out that, um, Vine Pin 15. Yeah, that's the name. Gherkin's gonna come out. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my Alakazam because obviously I don't want him to take a fake out. We're gonna go to my Terrakion, who's asleep. So, um, here comes the fake out. Fake out's gonna hurt. Now I'm just sitting here. It's, it's a waiting game now. Can I wake up in time to take out this Gherkin? Here comes the double hit on my Terrakion. Ouch. Here goes another one. Ouch. <laughs> he's bulky enough. Might as well have him in there, right? Now, he's going to keep damaging himself with life orbs. So, <laughs> it actually um, works out twofold. I'm um, still sleeping one night. Here comes another double hit. The question is, can I survive the double hit? 
Oh no, it takes me down to zero with that crit hit, unfortunately. It takes out my, um, my Tracheon. He's gonna hurt himself here with his life orb, so I was hoping my Tracheon could take enough to where he takes himself out. Now from this point, I can send in my Town Flame, and I'm just gonna Brave Bird him. Now with 25 HP, the question is, am I gonna survive? Am I gonna survive? Will my Town Flame make it? He's gonna take out the Gherkin, so Gherkin done and out, and that's actually gonna be the battle. And to my surprise, Talonflame survives it, so he didn't have that much HP, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Alpha, an awesome battler, an awesome battler, guys. He does a great job. Look at that team. It's really good. If you're looking for another Serene Grace team, there is one. And with the Amber Palm with the Fake Out, a good combination, guys. All right, well, do me a favor, guys. Smash that like button, share the stream, or share the video, and you know what? Let Alpha know how he did, guys. All right, until next time, guys. Remember, the road may be rough, but the journey will be unforgettable. Catch them all.